mafia boss in real life mafia boss in anime mafia mobsters in real life mafia mobsters in anime Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Otome game, Arcana Familia games for the Sony PSP. Arcana Familia is a visual novel and follows this stereotypical formula. The only daughter of a mafia leader, Felicita, lives her average life on a small island. Her dad, the mafia kingpin, wants to retire so he chooses seven men to fight for her daughter's hand. Oh, and Felicita can also read minds with tarot cards. And like most visual novels reviewed on this channel until now, she has to romance with the guys and you choose at the end with which Felicita will end up with. Typical to visual novels, you don't control much of the game, you read a lot and choose from multiple dialogue lines shown on the screen or from multiple decisions. It's annoying that the game switches back to the Japanese button layout if you have the English version where the X and circle buttons are switched and since the game decides at random when to switch you will get annoyed that you wanted to select one thing but because of the random button switch you selected something else. In Arcana Familia, the Phantom Ship Magician, Ash takes Felicita as a hostage on a ship. A turret card on Fel of Felicitas chooses Ash it's the magician and in addition to that Joshua makes a pact with the justice and turns into a skeleton making all other skeletons on the ship go nuts. A massive fog gets on the ship and now she gets to romance again with the dudes on the ship this time. In Arcana Familia Festa Regalo Felicitas' dad, the Mafia Kingpin, gets bored, so he forces his men to participate in a cooking contest. And the winner gets his power for one day. In the game you choose a dude and run around to find ingredients and participate in cooking duelos. You have to gather ingredients to get recipes, you can sell ingredients, you get mini games. This time, unlike other ones, isn't as much of a visual novel but it is actually. It doesn't have much gameplay either, even if it has mini games. They are very simplistic and you can't call them mini games but they are mini games. You'll see what I mean when you are playing the game, if you play it. it the mini games make you feel like you're in the middle ground between a visual novel and the game. But it's not at the game level yet. Also it's annoying that you can save only when you get to your room, you can't quick save during the game. Arcana Familia 2 is another visual novel. This time the plot is linear and you don't get the choose partner type of gameplay. This time the story is extremely depressing. The game doesn't have problems in gameplay but the story as I said, it's depressing. It's a visual novel, you read a lot and choose very little stuff. This time even less stuff since the story doesn't have that much branching. The game is like a long interactive cutscene. If you're a fan of this series, you will like the game. If you have no idea what Arcana Familia is and don't like visual novels, I recommend you to avoid these titles. You will find them extremely boring. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.